<laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke I'm Dave. Office Bloke. Hi. <laughs> Office Bloke Naz. Collectively, in the room, all three of us made the Office so Blokes. Quick, Dave, can you just say one thing to me? I like. Do you? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> now you ruined it for yourself, uh, mate. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You're getting You're getting <laughs> Yeah, keep your eye out for a short of Mike admitting to something about his personal life very soon. Um, <laughs> Just don't never learn. <laughs> anyway, right. Tommy Fury is now fighting Jake Paul, isn't he? Yeah, who is he? Yeah, it's happening. Is it in Dubai? <clears throat> Abu Dhabi? Saudi Arabia. Saudi? No Who's Tommy Fury? Is he like... Uh, Tyson Fury's half-brother. Yeah, half-brother, yeah. right, okay. Yeah, so he's from the family. And he lives he around is, here. Yeah, but he is a... Allegedly, he's a proper boxer. I don't know enough yeah, about him yeah, to he know. Fought, he fought out. I'm pretty sure he fought out of e Egan's gym. Oh, did he? Oh, did I he? think so. Yeah. Right, okay. There's a few of the few of the Furies that fought out of there. Right. So, um, but I think Tommy yeah, might be one of them. Yeah, produced a few uh, yeah, boxers there, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, champion done well. Yeah. I think um, obviously it's this is one of those fights where it's been like it's on, it's off, it's on, it's off, and it's mm -hmm. the first time Jake Paul's fighting a legit boxer. In a proper boxing yeah, match, right? Okay. The mad thing is, it gets me about BT Sport. Is, 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 this is this is what blows my mind now about sports, right? Is BT Sport showing it over here, right? Carrying the fight, the, uh, the Jake Paul and um, Tyson Fury fight. Yeah, box some box Tommy office. Fury. Yeah, what did I say? Tyson Fury. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Tommy Fury. So it's on box office. It's pay per view, mm -hmm. right? They just had the uh, Anthony Yardy fight a weekend for a world championship, <laughs> regular TV. No really? Pay -per -view. Really? Yeah. Yeah, on beats. There's not enough interest. <clears throat> yeah, it's a fight. You know what I mean, big up and coming UK fight. Well, I'm saying up and coming. I know he's. Uh, I think well, he's lost two or three fights, but he's. Still... What's the payday Tommy Fury's getting for this? It's mm -hmm. like it's like a million or something, <clears throat> isn't it? For, for if one if fight, it's box office. He'll be uh, getting a few quid. I would, I would guess. His missus is probably getting more just to turn up in some clothes from Boohoo. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, but uh, isn't the allegedly been, there's been clauses in the contracts in the past where if someone knocks out Jake Paul, they don't get paid. There's a there's allegedly not heard that clauses yeah. like that to kind I don't of protect think him. If, if one of the Furies goes with that, it kind of dampens the whole name of the family. And I don't it think does. He, I don't think he'd go with that. It would be I unlikely. Be he, very unlikely. How could you? You know, I mean, you'd have to pull your pooches out. I saw a lot. I saw some on either Instagram or Twitter away. the other day where she's. I think she's pregnant, Molly May. Yeah. Isn't she? And she's put oh the baby's due such. A, no, something then Jake Paul's put down underneath, put them just in time to watch Deb get knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> Funny that. You've got, you got to appreciate the shit talking. Like, yeah. I don't, you know, Jake Paul and Logan Paul, they've, they've worked hard. Mm. I, I know one of them is allegedly a, a cryptocurrency mm. scammer. Well, he squared, right. squared up in London at the weekend, didn't they? Did they? Yeah, one of the fights in I, there. I don't know a lot about it because it's one of those things that's on, it's off, it's on, it's off. It's on, it's off. I'm the Anthony Hardy fight, I don't know. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see what he's got sure. to say. I did see Jake Paul doing an interview though, talking about Tommy Fury, saying he was going to knock him out, and he started talking about um, Tyson Fury, and Tyson Fury just walks out, and the look on Jake Paul's face, he stood up instantly and was like, "You're yeah. all right, you're all right," shaking his hand and stuff. Because he's he's unhinged, Tyson Fury. Yeah, I wouldn't trust him anywhere near me. Near but he, me. he was he was great with him. Tyson Fury mm. was dead nice to him. Shook his hand, and uh, then. I want to say Jake Paul tried to fist bump one of Tyson Fury's kids and put his fist out like that and it was one of his sons and he just went, nah. <laughs> just went, <laughs> so it was good. But Tyson's even, a different league. Even Jake Paul <laughs> yeah. said at the end of that though, he, when Tyson Fury left, he went, I thought I was going to get knocked out. Mm -hmm. and, which was nice to see a humble put, side. Put it yeah. past him either. But. Yeah, let's get into it then. This is Tommy Fury exclusive. The fight isn't going the distance. Or is it? You couldn't pay me a trillion pound to take a dive. You couldn't pay me a trillion pound to take it easy. I'm going in there and I will tell you now, this fight is not going the distance. Tommy, glad to have you here in the building. Glad to be here, glad to be here. For a fight that's been, we we're just talking, two, about two and a half years in the making. Yeah, two and a half years in the making. Um, a little bit too long for my liking, yeah, but yeah. we're here now. It's all announced, everybody knows about it. There's a lot of hype around it and um, we're not too far out either. So uh, I think we're about four weeks away. And I'm just happy. I've been training for a long time because yeah. I knew it was eventually going to come. You know, he's had two lucky escapes from this fight and he's obviously not smart enough to take them. You know, I had a broken rib the first time. What can you do about that? The second time, denied entry into US. Can't help that. Third time, well, he's been begging on and begging on for it. So, you know the saying, be careful what you wish for. Well, he's about to experience that first hand. He should have took the two lucky escapes that he had and played it off like I didn't want to fight because believe you me, I did want to fight and I'm here. 
I've been training for weeks and weeks and months and months. Been sparring world-class people in the gym three, four days a week. I am in the best condition possible. And it's just going to be amazing because on the night, you know, he prances around like he's Canelo Alvarez and he's the king of boxing and this and that. And on the night, he's going to get humbled in a very bad way because for this fight, there's no, you know, emotions running through this fight for me. It's purely business, but he's a man that I do want to dismantle on the night. And I believe the way I'm shaping up in the gym, the, the things I'm doing against seasoned fighters, people who've been fighting all their life, it doesn't add up very well for Jake Paul on February 26. How old is he? Mm. <coughs> Tommy Fury. Yeah. Is he like early 20s? Sim I'd, similar age to Jake Paul? I'd guess he's about 30. Is he? <coughs> What's he like as a boxer? Because I don't think I've ever seen him box. I, th I think I've seen him at Egan's once, uh, sparring. And he looks, yeah. he looked pretty quick. Um, but I've never seen him box as a... Uh, like um, in any kind of competition, I've seen a few clips. Yeah, maybe I've seen uh, clips. Yeah. yeah, someone was on Rogan recently, and they said they don't think he's a boxer. Mm. And Rogan actually kind of lost it. I mean, mm. that's nonsense. He's yeah. a legit boxer, and they yeah. started showing clips of some mm. of his knockouts and stuff. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, I'm no expert. I can't tell the difference, but he looked, yeah. he looked good from yeah. what I could see. Yeah, he's and a confident guy, isn't he? You've got someone like Rogan saying, no, he's an actual boxer. He's mm. a legit boxer. Yeah. yeah, but at the same time, I think uh, the Jake Paul's come through sort of like a lot of good training yeah and a lot of good sparring and obviously yeah. he's kind yeah. of making him, making a name for himself so I don't think it's <coughs> going to be a big walk over for Tommy Fury as he may think it is I think he's got opinion. past the uh, past the sort of like novelty sort of stage I think so, yeah. Jake Paul I yeah. think he's sort of just but I'd like to see what, like to see what the weights slightly. are difference because Tommy Fury yeah. looks a bit bigger than, than uh, Jake Paul Jake Paul's a big guy I know but he looks a bit he looks a bit bigger what weights he normally box at I'm Jake not Paul like heavy. He like heavy? Like heavy won't he what's that in pounds oh. Is that like two? Be close, yeah. Two, like pitch two ten out. or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, pounds. Not sure. Big, mm. big guys though, aren't they? And if they're it's, it evenly matched, it's, it could be interesting. Mm. Pretty sure Tommy's a light heavyweight. Right, right. You spoke a little bit about business there, and there's no denying that Jake Paul is he's a good businessman. Mm. But he also takes this boxing career that he's built very, very seriously. He's out in Puerto Rico training. He's got his own gym. When you, when you see that, he says the difference between you and him is his, his dedication, his obsession with the sport, but mm -hmm. how would you respond? I respond in, just because my movements aren't plastered over the internet and I'm not doing stuff for views, I have been up every single day at 4.30, 5am for the past 15, 16 weeks, putting miles in, in the pitch dark, my coat on, my hat on, miles and miles and miles down that road, no headphones he's all that I'm thinking about and at the end of the day I put my work in every single day and I've not just put the work in for the past three years four years I've been doing this since I've been six years old you can't be that clever to get in the ring with me because I'll tell you now you couldn't pay me a trillion pound to take a dive you couldn't pay me a trillion pound to take it easy I'm going in there and I will tell you now this fight is not going the distance there's a lot of egos at play there's been a lot of bad blood, some, some, some bad words said between you both, but who actually has the most to lose? Because he says that it's you have the most to lose, or he has the most to lose, but I, you know, I believe obviously with the Fury name, it could potentially be the other way around. Do you know what it is? There's no pressure on me. And there never has been um, while I've been boxing because I've said to absolutely everybody that's ever interviewed me, what about the pressure? What about the last name? Hold on a minute, I'm not Tyson. You know, I'll never be Tyson. A Tyson comes along every 100 years and it'll be another 100 years before he comes along again. I'm just trying to be the best version of myself that I can be. My life is already everything I dreamed of right now, even before this fight. So to be sat in this chair, you know, with everything that's going on, it, this is all a dream for me anyway. So our dreams come true for me. So at the end of the day, I've got nothing to lose. Absolutely nothing. He's the one with the talking and he can beat Canelo Alvarez and he can beat Mike Tyson, he can do all this stuff. At the end of the day, I'm here. And he can't beat me. He can't, he's not even good enough to lace my boots up. Yeah, he's got a load of money. He can buy his own gym. He can buy trainers. But guess what? He could have Angelo Dundee in his corner on February 26th. And he still ain't beating me. Because just because you can have all these famous people around you, just because Tyson's around me, you know, and he's around me in training, I'm not going to go out there and box like Tyson. I can't go and beat Deontay Wilder. It doesn't matter who you've got around you. It's about what's in here. And I know this is 10 times bigger than his. And I know when it comes down to it, he can't beat me in a fight. Not through Monday to Sunday, he can't beat me on a fight. There's no way in the world, because even if I never train for this, my heart alone will get me through a fight with him. Not a problem. He's useless. He's big, st he's even stiffer than me, and I've got a load of muscle on me. 
He can't move out the way of a shot. His boxing fundamentals are awful because every fight's the same. And genuinely, when you're messing with proper people who can fight in the gym, and then you go and watch tape on him, the man is a pure white collar fighter. He does not know how to fight. I'm not 50 years old. I'm not 40 years old. I'm not an MMA fighter. All the little tricks of the trade, he's gonna find out on the night and he's gonna be absolutely puzzled. And I'm gonna be there right in front of him, laughing, saying you got exactly what you wanted, didn't you? And he's gonna do nothing about it. Do you believe that once you- Have you got a, uh, a preference either way with these two? No. Uh, I mean, I'd like to see I'd like to see a proper boxer in fury, as they say, yeah. uh, come through and sort of like say, "This is what you're gonna." I'd like to see a proper fight, yeah, where there's no like, yeah. uh, it's not showboating, it's not there to sort of like you know for views. It's there as a proper build as a proper fight, yeah. Come on as a proper fight and be a proper fight. Exactly, that's what you want. But, to I mean, see, you can't, it's hard to get that in boxing now anyway because it's still <clears> yeah, still don't know who knows what the judges are gonna give. Otherwise, mm, it can know. be classed as a bit a bit of a novelty, and when yeah. it is a novelty, then it, I lose interest quite yeah. quickly. Yeah. Really, I must admit. For me now, if it's yeah. if, if 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 it comes out and it is a novelty fight, that's the end for me for watching these two. Yeah, I don't know, I just I just fair. take them off. I just yeah. take them off my watch list and just go. You know what, a pair of you. Done. I mean, do you know? Is interested. it like a 10, 12 rounder or it should be twelve rounds? That's what I mean. It should be, shouldn't they? If, if they say it's like six or eight rounds, then again, they might, they might do six or eight rounds because they're not. Depends how fit they are and what they're going to do. You, know, you don't want to yeah. see. You don't want to see four. The last four rounds of boxing where they're just dancing with each other, neither. No. So yeah, you put it to so. where you're going to put it all out. So it's probably a ten round game. I don't know. I've not seen. The, I've not seen the uh, the full details of it. I suppose even with professionals early on in the career, they don't do twelve rounds straight mm. off anyway, do they? No. no. Straight off the bat, but no. uh, mm. be interesting. I think Jake Paul is probably sick of it being a novelty as well, though. Probably, like, this yeah. is his opportunity to legitima legit yeah. legitimise himself. Mm. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then a lot of people are going to be rooting for Tommy Fury because they've, they've been waiting for a real boxer to knock out Jake yeah. Paul for a long time now, haven't they? Yeah, so, I guess I so. mean, if he's talking yeah. about taking on people like Canelo, give it a rest, man. You're not going to beat Canelo. The, the best can't beat Canelo. Mm. And if that was the case, you'd escalate yourself, and people would be looking at it and going, "Yeah, this guy's a serious contender." Yeah, yeah. throw him in there with Canelo and, and see what happens. And Canelo would destroy him in the first round without a doubt. You know, Canelo's probably pound for pound the best boxer that's, that's mm. around. Yeah, you know, sort of thing. So it's kind of like one of them where, and you're talking about meet Mike Tyson. You know, Mike Tyson will probably still rip your head off. This I'd still be shit scared yeah. if Tyson wants in here now. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> I mean, he's, you know, he's probably sixty years old. You know what I mean? But still be looking and going I'll like, tell you what, though, you have to look at you, don't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just got oh. yeah, exactly. Well, Tyson's not stupid, and if there was a big payday and a no knockout clause yeah. nowadays, because he fought, he fought Roy Jones Jr. Didn't he a couple of weeks ago, a few months ago? Uh, Tyson, I think they went sort of like yeah on an exhibition sort yeah. of game sort of fight. And again, you know, it's not the same. People withholding stuff, and it's a little bit different when yeah. you're fighting for the world title or you're fighting for for your career. Yeah, you're putting that little bit of difference or like attitude when you're going to do something. Don't it's a bit like everything. If I if I go for a game of football now, right, and it's like the FA Cup final, I know what I'm going to play like. If I go for a game with Mike and the kids and we just have a kickabout, I'm not playing the same. No, no, I'll still put effort in, but I'm not playing the same. Yeah, but if I'm in a, nearly the same game, we'll still, still try break, break our legs. <laughs> 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 but if you're going in, you're going, in, you're going to play a proper game, then you get proper get stuck in, don't you? Yeah, yeah. so I think you're giving your all. You're running that little bit further. You're yeah. running a little bit faster, and you're doing everything a little bit more when you when there's something at the end of it. So if they don't if they don't put the full effort into this both of them and they both come out and say yeah let's have a rematch because it was a draw and all that and it was shit I'll be like, like you know what, it's like, I'm done with it let's yeah, make it a trilogy yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, it, yeah I mean that's one thing listening to Tommy Fury talk though is like and people said this with Conor McGregor that when he was hungry he was vicious and then when he had loads of money there was nothing to fight for mm. and he kind of went off a bit he seems very content with his life mm. and not particularly hungry if you know what I mean I don't think he's ever come across that way though he's never been he's never been like a, a Mike Tyson of boxing when I've seen him being interviewed in the past he's always kind of a low key because he's I mean what you got to remember he lives in the shadow of his brother yeah so I think when you when you you imagine being a, you imagine being a kid in that family with having Tyson as your older brother yeah you know, you're not getting nothing no. You ain't getting shit apart from grief. Okay. Yeah. That's all you're your getting. Food taken your off food your taken off. Everything's taken <laughs> off you. No matter what you've got that's good, he's, he's been taken off you. I know what they grew up. They grew up in Withenshaw, sort of thing, where I live. Yeah, yeah. Where, where, where I lived and where I grew up. And it's. I know you. You had nothing. Mm. So the big kid got everything. Yeah, like it or not, whether your brothers, sisters, don't matter. The big kid took everything. So you yeah. think he's just understated and quite a calm person, yeah. anyway? Mm. Yeah. Right. Fair yeah. enough. Saying so you got exactly what you wanted, didn't you? And he's going to do nothing about it. Do you believe that once you beat Jake Paul, you're going to get back to what you would say is real boxing, boxing real fighters? Yeah, definitely. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, all these lucrative fights are out there, you know, I'll clear up. But my sole, you know, goal since starting boxing has always been the same. It's to be a world champion. 
you know, and I do believe I've got what it takes to be there and get to that level. And I do believe everyone writes me off because, because of Love Island, you know, there's a lot of jealousy, there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to beat him and put an end to him once and for all, and everybody can thank me for doing it. And then guess what? I'm going to get back on my route, win some titles and go down in history. And then I'll bob me at and I'll leave the sport. That's my goal. It's a great plan. Listen, I, you, you've spoken about Tyson a few times and it, it would be wrong of me not to mention the fact that Tyson's come out and said, listen, if you do not beat Jake Paul, you better stay in Saudi Arabia. See, How does that make you feel? Does that not pile pressure on you? No, definitely not because I know my family. But at the end of the day, quietly, we're all laughing in the background because we can't believe how stupid this man's been. You come from a long line of fighting men, yeah. proud fighting men. Talk to me, are you going to take, I know you're, like, Tyson's just, Tyson's just walked in. We're just, we're just talking about the big man. You talk, you talk. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, are you going to take, I know you're, are you going to head out to Saudi a little bit early? You know, finish off your camp there. Are you going to... Not back on the gear, is he? <laughs> <laughs> <He's like drunk. laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> are you going to take... I know you're, are you going to head out to Saudi a little bit early. You know, finish off your camp there. Are you going to take out any of the Fury clan with you? Yeah, definitely. Tyson will be coming over. My dad will be there. Everybody will be out in full force in Saudi because this is, you know, let's have it right. It's the biggest fight in my career. But it's not the toughest test of my career because mm. I've had tougher spars in the gym. I know sparring isn't fighting, but I'll tell you one thing. There's just, I've got a plan from A to Z for this man. Yeah. You know, there's a million and one things that he's going to fall for and he doesn't realise it. Ah! And this man's jumping into the deep end and I'm, I'm just smirking to myself. I pinch myself every time, every single day to see if it's real. You want to pay me a heap of money to fight Jake Paul? Chris must come early for me. No problem, mate. Sign me up. People should tune in on the 26th of February because it's going to be the end of an idiot. It's going to be the end of a clown who is delusional, He's tried to come into the sport, take it over, rule the roost, and it's not happening. You know, he's this superstar, he's this and that. Well, February 26th, he will be humbled and he will be defeated. And I will put money on that. I bet my whole life on it. Jake Paul's leaving Saudi Arabia with his first loss. Tommy, strong words. Absolute pleasure. Appreciate Good it. Good luck fighting that, Tom. Yeah, I'm yeah, kind of uh, back in Tommy Fury there, if I'm being One honest. One of the things you got to remember is uh, Jake Paul's come through the YouTube sort of like social media scene, hasn't he? I think he was yeah. a Disney kid first. He was. I think okay. they. Um, was I think they may have both been Disney kids. Yeah. So he's come through that sort of like uh, entertainment sort of yeah. factor, right? You know, whether it be YouTube, social media, Disney, whatever yeah. it may be. Tommy Fury was famous for being on Love Island. <clears throat> yeah, I'd never heard of Tommy Fury before he was on Love Island. Yeah, no, I, yeah true. Yeah. Yeah. I don't watch Love Island. So, Game so, the Gainer told me that he's some guys on there. He was Tyson Fury's brother. Do I know him? Yeah. And I'm like, what's, what's, what's his name? So she said, Tommy. And I was like, I didn't even know there was a Tommy. I know Huey, but Tommy, I didn't know. Yeah. Never heard of him. Yeah. So, yeah, he's, so he's a social media influencer star as well. And he's missing. very big on social media. Yeah. Molly May. Yeah. But yeah. Right, be interesting. Okay. Be interesting mm. to watch because, like I say, for me, it's uh, if if it comes off as a, as a bit of a sideshow, and I'm like, nah, it's not. That's not what it's about. Boxing. No, they're not for me. I like, I like the sport of boxing. It just wouldn't be. It put a bad taste in my mouth for it. You got proper bony fighty boxing match, don't you? Yeah. Between two two mm. proper pros, yep. uh, a proper ending as well. But uh, yeah, I, it's going to be really really interesting. I the do outcome of this one. I do look forward to watching it though. Now mm. after that, I didn't really give a shit before pay per view, Dave. Yeah, no. <laughs> How much are they charging? <laughs> yeah, that's about twenty one quid. That's a big question. Twenty two quid probably. Wow. What time is it going to be on? It'd be in Saudi Arabia, so it'd probably be a decent time over here. Because maybe I can yeah. go to the pub and watch well, it. Saudi instead. Arabia four hours ahead of us, aren't they? Three, four hours ahead of us. So it's, it's more than likely I'll be able to watch it yeah. in a pub. Yeah. And if that's the case, yeah. I'll go and watch it. Yeah, a lot of pubs won't show it because it's pay-per-view. And if the paper chair in the, in, the, in, the, in the pub. So a lot of them don't show pay-per-view. Yeah, yeah, true. Depends on the cost of fortune, done it for yeah. pubs. Oh, it depends what they're offering. So. Mm. We'll see. We'll yeah. see. Yeah. But yeah. So uh, let us know in the comments who your money's on. Who are you going for, Mike? I'm going for Tommy. Same, I think. Yeah, I think yeah. I kind of want him to. I mean, one is a he's a Brit as mm. well, and he's a, he's local. Yeah, he is. exactly. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, very local. Yeah, yeah, and he just seems less annoying, agree, uh, less egregious. <laughs> less I've got more affinity with him than Jake Paul because yeah, I don't know I Jake agree. Paul from Adam. So yeah, you know, you'd have to go with Who's Adam for me. <laughs> don't know him. <laughs> no, I'm going with Tommy Fury as well. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Good. Anyway, let us know in the comments who you're going for, uh, what you think about it all, and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Cheers.